Hello students, this is Joy from Joy T Academy. Please like and subscribe and follow me if you are not following me yet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing that. It doesn't matter even if we are a parent, we are just a follower, Jay, you know. Just support me. Okay, that's the only way you can support me. Just like, subscribe, follow me. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Make sure you do that. Thank you so much. You know, I'm grateful. We are still looking at this topic, but the main focus of this video, we are going to look at triangles. If you have watched my previous video, you know that this topic is all about lines and angles, right? So, this time, these straight lines, they are going to create corners. We have this corner and we have this corner and this corner. Like I said, corners are the ones we call angles. Okay? The lines can meet. The lines can cross each other. The line can intersect to form any shape. Okay? When the lines intersect, they can form any shape. Okay? So, but in this video, the straight lines are forming triangles. Okay? At point A, at point B, at point C. Remember, try means three okay so we have angle one angle two angle three try means three so we have one two three okay we have triangles that's why we call this Try angles. Number two, we have three sides as well. Okay, we have three angles, we have three sides. Let me repeat we have three angles and we have three sides. One, two, three sides, we have A, B. B, C, A, C. Okay. Remember, I said that's how they call lines. Line A, B. Which means line from A to B. Line from B to C. Line from A to C. Okay. Line A, C. So you must get used to that language because they will be like AC is equal to AB. So you must know, oh, they mean from here to here is the same as from here to here. So you must know, you must really know. Now, let's go to the basics of triangles. Now, we are not talking about the specifics of each triangle. Okay. Again, this is where they meet. So in this case, we have that angle A, right? The basic rule we say A, angle A plus angle B plus angle C, they will always give you 180. Okay? As angle B plus angle C, they will always give you 180 okay now we have three cases where you say lines i mean sorry where you say angles now we have three cases where you say angles now we have three cases where you add angles up to 180 the first one is where they are on a straight line The first one is where they are on a straight line. The second one is where 
um co they are they are what it's where they are co anterior angles and the parallel lines the third one is where you add the anterior angles of a triangle okay so we have to be this is a reason here but i'll put it here because i don't have a space now so your reason will be sum of angles not of a straight line but of what of triangle okay but don't worry about this this will depend on the book we are using okay as long we have mentioned this is the sum angles of triangle maybe some books will just give you these angles of triangle sum means total okay total of angles of triangle okay so a plus b plus c is called 180 the reason this is what the sum of angles of what of triangle so this is a start i just i wanted to mention this before we go now we are going for the specific ones okay now we are going to the types of triangles so the first type of triangle is the one where is the one where all sides are equal okay and since all sides are equal this means all angles are equal okay so what is the name of this one is the one that we call equi equilateral okay triangle okay is the one that we say all sides are equal all angles are equal equilateral i used to tell my students okay think of this one think of equal okay everything is equal equi think of this one it's more like from equal okay equilateral that is the same as equal okay think of e qual but now take the first part equi they are sharing the same first three letters you can think of those small things make make up something if a plus b plus c gives you 180 this means for angle a we have 60 degrees we have 60 degrees for b and we have 60 degrees for for c okay because this one will give you uh what 180 and your reason is the same as the one that i wrote last time this is what sum of angles of triangle okay sum of angles of triangle okay so this is the first one everything is equal okay angles are equal sides are equal okay the second one remember that one we said everything is equal the second one is so in other words three sides are equal and three angles are equal so the second one is decreasing now this one says two sides are equal and two angles are equal so what is very important here is the position of those sides and angles okay is very important so in maths we say if we are standing here the side in front of you we say is opposite okay so right now 
we are standing here at angle C, the side that is opposite, okay, that is opposite is what? Is AB, okay? So when we are standing here at B, the side that is opposite is what? Is AC, okay? So in other words, here we say, Angles opposite equal sides are equal. Let me repeat. Angles opposite equal sides are equal. Or sides opposite equal angles are equal. Okay? The name of this one is the one that we call isosceles. Okay, we call it isosceles triangle. Okay, it's the one that we call isosceles triangle. So, in other words, if A, B, is equal to AC and then this means angle B is equal to angle C. The same thing is to say if angle B is equal to angle C then AB is equal to AC. Okay so remember the first triangle is where all sides are equal and that one led to all angles to be equal so in this one two sides are equal and that one led to two angles to be equal as you can see okay so let's check the third one so the third one is where Nothing or no side is equal. Okay? And this one is the one that we call scaling. Okay? Scale, then you put E N E. N E. Scale in. Scaling. Okay? This one, nothing is the same. Okay, all sides are different and all angles are different. Okay, but still this one is still true. Okay, when you add them, they must give you 180. And then your reason sum of angles of triangle. Okay, so the reason is this one, but all sides are different and all angles are different. So this one is the one if you are doing grade 11 and grade or grade 12, you'll know this is the one that we normally use sine rule cosine rule just to find stuff but for these ones we apply these rules okay if you have an angle here they, they put x here you know it okay this one is equal to this why you say okay because all sides are equal okay the same thing is this one if they gave you this one they want this one now you know okay c is square to b then you tell them okay this is what isosceles okay this is the third one, okay? So the fourth one, so the fourth one is the one that we call right angle triangle, okay? Is the one that we call right angle triangle. Why this one? Is because this one has this 90 degrees here. 
So the side opposite this 90 degrees is always called what? Hypotenuse side. Okay. It's always opposite. This one has only one. They always give. This means this is 90 degrees. Okay. This angle. Once they put this one here. And then they put one here. And they, they ask you for this one. So say 90 plus this. And then you question this. Okay. So we have A. B. And C. This one is the one that we say is right angled triangle. Okay, so this is the one that we call right angle triangle. You have to know that it's not about size, it's not about size. But it's about this 90 degrees and sides are not equal okay but the main focus here is 90 degrees we have it here okay if you are doing uh if you are doing grade 11 or 12 you will know this one is the one but even if you're doing grade 10 this is the one that we normally use pythagoras to uh, yes is the one that we normally use pythagoras theorem and this is the one we normally use trick ratios okay to find you know the sides and angles and stuff okay i think we are done with these four triangles but there is this knowledge you also need to understand one example on this one let's say they gave you this one okay they gave you this one and they gave it doesn't matter okay after all we have this triangle now i'm putting it this side and then they say, okay, X, and then here they put 55, and here they put what? Hmm, they put Y here, and then here, maybe they put um, what to call, and here they put maybe 45, okay? So, they say, okay, find x y all right so find x y x y i mean x x is outside which means internal i mean sorry external x means out okay outside so this one is internal okay so let's start with this one why it's because this one has a relationship with the given angles okay you can find there are many ways to find this one. You can find Y first and then find that X. Or you can use that X, this one. That this one is equal to is equal to 55 plus 45. Okay. The reason this is what? It's like we're explaining this one. This is what? External angle of what triangle okay so this x is going to be what this is going to be 60 and 100 this is 100 degrees okay so after finding this one mm -hmm, remember if we have watched my previous video we talked about these angles on a straight line okay so you can say x plus y is equal to 180 your reason will be these are what angles way on a straight line okay or angles on a straight line so this one is 100 y is going to be 180 minus 100 remember we took this one to this side so now it's negative so y is going to be 180 minus 100 is going to be 80 do you agree 
another one you can say okay you know what i'm not going to use this one i'm going to say angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal to 180 and your reason will be sum of angles of triangle right that one will work so a is 55 degrees b is what is 45 degrees c is y okay c looking at this one as c okay okay is y um i think we're supposed to put y here because now we are dealing with internal so c has x and y is made up of x and y okay not really but i mean we have two corners so we have to be specific now we are dealing with the one that is in inside not outside so i think here you can put that so a y plus this one we have to use y here and y here then we are looking for y okay so then you calculate this is be, this will be 100 so y will be 100 to the other side we have 180 minus 100 and then you know it's the same thing as this one okay so that's how you work this thing out i just wanted to mention this um concept so that you know that what you're gonna do when you see something like this so the next video will be looking at congruency of these triangles okay we'll be looking at congruency of these triangles please don't forget to like subscribe and then follow me on tiktok if you're not following me and please um show some love okay show some love that's all i'm asking okay thank you